Hey guys, this is Jake again here with my bring back, continuing our Objective C tutorials, and today we're going to be going over if else statements. So we're going to be going into a little bit more of controlling the application more or less than getting away from some of the variables and uh, the comparison operators and all that stuff. So in the previous tutorials, we went over some of the comparison operators, which we will be using with our if else statement today. So let's jump into the if else. I've got on the screen basically a standard if else, no nested, you know, it's just a simple if. You can see by this statement here, the expression, if this Boolean expression is true, execute this code that we're going to put in, or else execute this code if it's false. So that's kind of the basic premise behind an if-else statement. Um, where these would come in handy, um, a lot of times you'll see them in the background. You may not notice they're there, but let's say you go to a website and uh, you have to validate that you're 18, or you have to validate that you're a certain age. Um, it's basically you're going to enter your age or your, you know, the birth date, and the computer behind the scenes is going, okay, if this person is 18 years of age or older, will allow them to go or enter the site. If not, we're going to you know, flash this website and we're going to say, sorry, you're not, you're unable to access the site at this time. So that's kind of how it is. Like, it uh, is basically a flow control, if you want to put it that way. It uh, does behind the scene programming and uh, allows you to go in or not. So that's what we're actually going to do today so you guys can grasp, grasp the concept and uh, not even stop talking here. So, without further ado, we're going to establish a variable, and we're just going to use a simple int integer, we're going to name it age, and we're going to set its value equal to, uh, let's say, my age, 24. Don't forget your semicolon. <clears throat> the next part is going to be the if-else statement. So we're going to simply write if, and then here comes our Boolean expression, if age is now we have to establish our expression here let's say uh, let's say we're voting so we have to establish if they're 18 years of age or older we want uh, we want to say yes you you're eligible to vote if you're not we're gonna say you're ineligible to vote so if they're 17 or less so we're gonna go if age and see we're gonna have to get to use a greater than or equals to in this case is 18. We're going to put in curly braces here. And this is where, as you can see, as a return, this is where we're going to put in the code to be executed if it's true. So if they're 18 years of age or older, we want to just simply print out our statement here as you are eligible to vote. Don't forget your parentheses there and follow it up with don't forget your semicolon our else statement start your curly braces hit return and then this down here as we put our curly braces here this is going to be where if it uh, if it appears to be false if it appears to be false that we're 17 years of age or younger we're going to put in just a simple ns log and right in there you are ineligible, I can't spell today, to vote. Okay, so let's test it out. So, don't forget your semicolon. Sorry, wrong place. There we go. Alright, let's test it out and see what it prints out on the screen below. Okay, perfect. You are eligible to vote. Put a period there. Looks a little bit better. All right, so you're eligible to vote. So now let's say somebody comes to our site and they put in that they're 16 years of age. Let's see what happens. All right, good. So the computer recognizes that the age is actually less than 18, so that's going to be false, and it's going to display you're ineligible to vote right there. All right, so that is kind of the basics to the if-else statement. What I want you guys to do is try this on your own. Make sure you grasp the concept 
um, with you know a comparison operator the greater than or equals to you know you could swap this around to less than 18 it could be equal to oops equal to 18 um, so it all depends on what you're looking for so that's kind of the basics of the if else um, in the next tutorial we're gonna be doing an if else else you know adding more equations to it adding more complexity so make sure you kind of get down to the foundation of this if else and uh, how that works and we'll continue on to the next tutorial all right peace out guys